What's up guys, I am back with another video, but before we get on to any how to's or tutorials, I will need to show you guys what tools I use in order to create the haircuts I do. And note that the products I'm about to show you guys have become my personal favorite throughout the four years I've been cutting. I will be starting off with the most important piece of the mall, which is the main clipper. As for the main clipper, I did choose the magic clip. It is extremely versatile and it does check all the boxes in when it comes to a great clipper. If you are a new barber, an experienced barber, or maybe even a student, you might want to pick these up because they are not that expensive and is really good for what you pay. One thing I did forget to mention about this clipper is that it has a staggered moving blade, which means you will be able to fade out lines quicker than other clippers. All right, so I do use this as the main clipper, but towards the end of every haircut, I do use the Babyliss FX to get into those really tight spaces in order to detail every inch of the haircut. All right, so we'll move these aside and show you guys what I use for the trimmers. As for the trimmers, I did choose some that were really highly anticipated throughout the years before they came out, and that is the Skeleton FX's. I'm gonna start off by saying these are kinda pricey, but are definitely worth it. These trimmers do come in a variety of colors. The reason I say they're worth it is because you are able to fit them into tight spaces and get every inch of the edge up with no problem. So for shavers, I do use two different ones. My first pick and my go-to is the foil FX, but the most effective one and the one that is a workhorse to me is the Bronze Series 9. So both of these are great shavers in their own way. This one, the Bronze Series 9, cuts off longer hair and faster. This one cuts tighter and is more effective on tighter spaces. I will say the Bronze Series 9 is definitely a better shaver just because it has a stronger motor and will cut off hairs that you missed throughout the haircut. Okay guys, so as for the Bronze Series 9, you do get a fully waterproof machine and a trimmer alongside. So you don't have to go back and forth within trimmer and shaver. As we move alongside, you just press this little button, put it back, and then turn it on. Ain't that loud. Honestly, super effective. You can see the bars around here with the battery. When it's low battery, it'll blink. This actually comes with an adapter where you could place it on there and then it washes by itself. So the foil effects does come in a very compact size. As soon as you take the lid off, you are exposed to the foils themselves and will cut very deep onto the scalp. So now that I showed you guys the main three pieces the barber needs, we'll also jump into some necessities and small tools you'll need in order to complete your kit. So next thing up on the list are guards. You know these are a must if you're a barber, even a cosmetologist, even those ladies that work at sport clips or anything, these are a must, honestly. If it weren't for these, your haircuts would slow down and it'd be kind of impossible to finish off a fade. Um, the one thing I will note is that these are compatible with both clippers I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So in order to top off those edge ups, make the tapers crispier, line up beards and all that, you will need these blades right here. Not specifically these blades, but you do need some type of blade that will fit into your blade holder. This thing will open up and then you get to put your blade in there, close it up and then it firmly holds the blade while you work on the plant. Okay, combs, absolutely must. You do need these, brush off the, every little hair, every little detail will come off these brushes. These are very important. And they're cheap, too. they're like $2. So one thing I like is a really pet peeve of mine, and like, honestly, I hate when new barbers do this, is leaving hair behind. Like. Please guys, do not leave hair behind. That is the worst mistake you could do as a barber. Get used to just brushing off every little hair. 
The way I do it is literally with these. They're super simple. I bet you've seen them everywhere. Make sure you get one of these and brush off all the hair. Even if it's in their freaking, in their, in their ears, try to brush them off, please. That thing like could make it or break it for some of y'all. A lot of clients do appreciate when you brush them off and then you even blow dry all the hair off and everything. Trust me, it makes a difference. They pay attention to that 100%. So next up on the table, we do have our barber cape, including some neck strips because you do want to protect your client from any hair that falls down, keep them clean, and you also want to have these for sanitary purposes. All right, you need everything, you need everything that I'm mentioning, right? But like, you need this. You like, need this product. Your combs, you need combs. Any hairstylist or barber will need combs. Um, if they do have a parting end, they're a little better because you do get a part of little comb overs or man buns, whatever it is, you need combs. So as we just finished talking about those combs, you also do need a fade comb. These allow you to have every little angle and will cut off the excess hair at the end of every haircut. Honestly, if I had to choose within one comb to use forever, I'd probably be using the fade comb. This next product must be laying around your house, your mom, your sister, someone uses it. It is hairspray. Hairspray because you will want to lay down all the little hairs when you're edging up when you are styling, etc., you will need this eventually in every cut. Next up, since I did mention the spray, we'll come up to another spray lead, another type of spray at least, and it is Cool Care. This I should have mentioned at the beginning because you do need it to disinfect every clipper when starting a new client. Or just at the beginning of the day or at the end of the day, you need this, you need this to keep everything sanitized. You will learn that in barber school if you haven't, if you have, you know, sanitization is key. So this next product I usually do put into a spray bottle or something, but it is aftershave. It does look like a bottle of water, but it is, it is aftershave. It's the one that stings at the end of every haircut. If you're a dude, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is a must for every barber. You need it. So if you ever wonder why the aftershave burns, quick, like fun fact, the uh, pore opens up when you pass a blade or a shaver and then we close it up by, by spraying aftershave. Some kind of, it has a percentage of alcohol which suppresses and makes the pore back to normal. So by the end of every haircut, I will usually, and I typically ask if they want me to style the hair. The products I use are Suavecito, which is the best wax out there there is. I've tried so many and this one obviously like is my favorite. This is the holiday edition, so Take a look at that. It smells just like, I don't know if you guys have ever walked into like a, a Michael store or something like that during the holidays. That's exactly what this smells like. So I usually use it uh, in the holidays, throughout the holidays. All right, so I'm gonna bring these back into the camera real quick. These secrete the oils in your hair. That way it becomes much thicker, like tight feeling when you have these kind of fringes or crops, you know what I mean? So must for crops or for any type of come overs that you really need like some volume on, these are must. So if you okay fine, three, three, two. So if you're kinda looking for a wet look slash like greaser look, I wouldn't recommend any of the ones I've already said. I would actually recommend some type of gel. I usually use the El Patron gel which is such more of like a creamy soluble and it does the job real good. It holds hair for like 24 hours for sure. I don't think you'll need it to last more than that. And that's that. That's every hair product you'll ever need as a barber. Honestly, if you have more than this, you're probably super extra, but yeah. So that concludes the end of the video. If you guys did like any of these products, they will be linked down below in the description. If you have any suggestions on what I should use or anything, please drop a comment below. Turn on the post notifications so you, so you can stay tuned on when I post a video. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like, but most importantly, make sure you subscribe as I will be posting videos weekly. That's it for us, peace. The products I use are, what the f is that? Look, you broke this shit by not catching it. You didn't do it right. No.
No, I threw it at you, right? You broke it. This is how you caught this, right? <laughs> Must in your kit. Give me again, one more time. No, don't want. No, you. F <laughs> <laughs> I can catch! Hey? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> no, you can't. Guys, uh, please don't cringe if I like say anything. It's kind of cringy. My brother's over there in the Vax Mummy of Pomade. Damn, boy, stick that shit up your nose, eh? It's another Christmas. Actually, yeah. Actually, yes, right? Yeah. Right? Gets in the mood. And then, we like, think, yeah.